Okay, part 13. Now, in part 7, we were pretty lucky. Does that mean that in part 13 we're going to get screwed? I hope not, because we're not taking on anyone that's too, too terrifying. Route gate. That's where we're saved in. Uh, speaking of the sea gear, uh, A180 informed me that somewhere on the sea gear is the option to grow berries. Um, I'm just going to check that out really quick. Okay, fine. I'll turn the sea gear on momentarily. What are you doing? Let me let me go. Okay. See here. Oh, whatever. Let's let's turn this piece of crap off. Uh, yeah. I'm just not gonna bother with berries unless we get good ones like Lum or uh, Lepa is probably the best in-game berry due to the PP restore. I'm not gonna bother with growing berries. Obviously, I'm gonna do that during uh. My real playing of this game, but uh, not for this. Okay, so we're going to grind up Blair, as we mentioned in the last video. And then we're going to switch and grind up Justin, who has Intimidate. And we're going to turn the animations off for that. But for Blair, we're going to keep him on. Well, we're not going to go here. We're going to go up here and try to figure out what this Sigalip thing can do. Uh, looks like it's either a ghost flying or psychic flying. So we're going to find out more stuff about it. And it's time to start the grind session. Okay, what the crap is this? This is a new thing. Uh, we're gonna interrupt the thing here. Guess what? If you didn't watch the, uh, choose to continue watching the thing, uh, the grind session, you didn't get to see this thing. What the crap is this? Probably a grass type, right? Um, we're gonna go to Sally. So, yeah, first time we've seen this Maractus. Uh, new thing. I guess it's based on a cactus? Synthesis. Um, I'm sort of interested in more interested in finding out what it can do. So, uh, it's male, so it's attracted, I guess. That's sort of stupid, though, because now it's not going to show me what its moves are. But, okay. Um, we're going to do Assurance. See if it's maybe a grass dark like the previous one. Mobilize my love, yeah. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't have Sand Veil, so it's not like the uh, other thing. We're just going to spam Attract. Because I want to see what this thing's moves are. Pin Missile. Okay, so uh, maybe a grass... It's kind of got a bug move. Sally dodged the attack because she's pro. Pin Missile. Oh yeah, that's right. This, uh, animations resolve a lot faster when the stuff is off. Uh, we're going to use... What are we going to use? We're going to use some sort of healing item. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use a potion. It's a good potion because I don't want to risk anything. He's being immobilized by the way. I know we can probably kill this thing in one shot, but uh, we're just going to keep wasting time learning this thing's moves. Cotton Spore. So it show me Cotton Spore, Pin Missile, and some other uses. Yeah, Synthesis. I, I still, I, I doubt it's got any stronger moves in that Pin Missile, but... I guess my better judgment is do it another track. Okay, now the sandstorm I'm moving on to. Um, I think pretty much all that damage is from sandstorm too. We're kind of blowing through some super potions right here, but that's okay. In retrospect, probably a silly idea to use a track, but it's kind of our only spam move option. So, cotton spore. I wouldn't go to Billy to take this, but uh, it could use a grass move. Mega Drain, okay, that's its last move, so that's good to know. Okay, so its full set is Mega Drain, at least at level 20. It's got Mega Drain, Pin Missile, Cotton Score, and Synthesis. So let's cut this thing down. Seems obviously I'm slower after the uh, Cotton Score is there. Okay, so that's that's good to uh, good to know. 
But uh, this thing is here, and we can just go to Sally to take it out, which is, yeah, it's probably going to be our best option. We can't go to Blair due to Pin Missile, and we can't go to Billy due to Mega Drain, and we can't go to, um, actually, we, we could go to Aaron, who, uh, is neutral to Bug, but, uh, I don't really want to. She doesn't have the Ivia like Justin does, so yeah, we're just going to go to Sally for those. Um, hopefully they're pretty rare. I mean, it's a neat Pokemon, but I don't want to encounter it while I'm grinding. So, uh, grind session resume. And, uh, if you didn't watch the grind session, then you missed this part. Oh, little, little, Okay, that went well enough, I guess, and by well enough, I mean we didn't lose a guy, which we came close a few times. Uh, if you skip the grinding session, then you miss a trainer fight and a new guy that we encountered who I uh, spent a little bit of time on and interrupted the music. So if you want to go back and watch that, cool. If not, let's continue. Desert Resort, we know about this. Oh uh, yeah, we didn't fight many, if any, of these trainers, so we're going to fight them now. Justin is now level 25, uh, not really anything he gained apart from more stats, so, but, uh, he also almost killed himself with, with a swagger-induced confusion, where I decided to go for it, and, yeah, that was a bad decision, so, anyway, I think this was, uh, this was the girl we fought, she had a, uh, one of the, the cotton thing, and I'm gonna go out on a limb and theorize that the cotton thing is a black exclusive guy because we have the Petalil, which is a grass type. And um, earlier on, I saw both of those, and I was like, okay, these are both going to be in the forest. But only the Petalil was. We did not see the cotton thing. And also, we I think the last part we checked in the Pokedex, and the cotton thing 
was location unknown. So I'm betting that that is a white exclusive. And that would make sense because Petalil would be a grass type replacement for it. Or excuse me, that the uh, cotton thing is a black exclusive. And that Petalil is the white equivalent of that thing on uh, being exclusive. So I guess that's okay. Obviously I don't really care because I have Blair. So, yeah. Anyway, these things, uh, if you watch the grind session, you notice that we went all the way from up around the desert resort and uh, finding out what that Sigalith can do. Turns out it looks like it's a psychic dart or a psychic flying type. Or at least psychic, I don't know if it's flying, but it looks like it's flying. And uh, still it's really cool, but um, it doesn't have any offensive moves outside of psychic type, so Justin and Aaron are both solid walls to it at that level. However, what was it? The, uh, the Dharmaka, right? Yeah, that thing. Holy crap! It's got a lot of attack power at that higher level. Like, Headbutt was raping my guys. It was doing, like, 25% to Billy, who was, like, 8 levels higher or some crap. Kind of crazy. Okay. Are we already battled this Is this rock climb up here? Oh, no, never mind. Just, uh, the skirters. What does this say? Oh yeah, power points. Yeah, we know about power points. Power points are, yeah. Just free way. Okay. Uh, I guess we already fought the rest of these trainers. It was just that one that I missed. Somehow. Um, so this is where we got Dig. That's where we got Dig. Okay, so let's go into the desert resort then and fight some trainers. Since we know that we can, uh, get a free heal up from that doctor that we beat in part 12 who had the thing that I assume has Magic Guard. I keep wanting to say Wonder Guard, but it's Magic Guard, not Wonder Guard. That would be lame if it was Wonder Guard. But I think our stuff was full healed anyway, except for maybe a Dig PP. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna go and fight some trainers in here. We have an almost full party, so... I feel lonely when I curl up with my Pokemon and watch the Twinkling Stars. Let's see if we can fight this uh, Gendo dude. No, we get an item. Soft sand. Okay, I actually uh, kind of should have had that on Justin, so that his digs could one-hit KO through even with intimidates on and stuff. I was kind of hoping we'd find that around here, but uh, anyway, he's got the Evia light right now to help his defenses, so I'm cool with him having that for right now. I'd rather have defense than offense in a Nuzlocke, obviously. Oh, we got a uh, item up this way. It's uh, right here. Hyper Potion. We also found an ether just laying on the ground. And there's water up this way. Yeah, we found it. We found an ether at some point during the drying session. And here we go. Another ether, invisible on the ground. And there's a, there's some sort of tower here. Okay, some sort of tower. There's a pokeball up there. Um, okay, this is more of the Relic Castle, right? So we went in here earlier, so apparently there's an, a tower-like entrance and a cave-like entrance, so. Heart Scale, cool. Um, I don't know where the move relearner is, if it still uses Heart Scales, but uh, that's the most common item. Sometimes they use Tiny Mushrooms and Big Mushrooms, like they did in Kanto. And uh, we got an item straight down, looks like it might be right here. Right here. Stardust. More stuff we can sell. Hey, Fizzy! Fizzy Stardust isn't watching this video. Why would he watch this video? Blah might be, though. The harshness of a desert through a battle, okay? Jaden! Yuki Jaden survives, right? Um, so we're getting reference to YouTubers now in these. 23! Ugh, that's tough. I I've got Evia Light and Intimidate on him, though. I think Dig should be able to kill this- Holy crap, Fire Punch! Um, oh, okay, I was about to say, whoa, why did Dig do, like, two damage? But that was the Sandstorm. I was about to freak out. And he also has a Blitzel, which we know is an electric type. So we're going to stay in on that. Pursuit. I don't know why you would pursuit me. I'm resistant to pursuit, and why would I switch anyway? Flame Charge! Okay. Um, 
Why does that sound familiar like I heard about that one? I don't know what it does, though. I, obviously, it's flame charge, so it's probably a fire move. Be careful of burns. Rossberry, okay. I wonder if that's a TM. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, we... Okay, so let's beware of uh, flame charge. If that's something that Blitzel learns automatically, then I definitely do not want Blair up against him, so... We're gonna have to be really careful with that. However, um... I think we're primarily going to be using Justin in this gym. Hopefully no one has, like, HP grass. Ducklet. Um... Oh, sweet, a new duck! Ducklet, okay. Um, most of the time ducks are water types. I don't know that for sure, obviously. Um, but we're gonna go to our guy that we value the least, which is Billy at this moment. I don't know what, I mean, that, Billy's kind of important, but, you know. Feather Dance. Attack Harshly Fell. I wanna find out what this thing can do, we've never seen it before. Um, we're gonna work up. Aqua Ring. Okay, yeah, so it definitely seems to be water-based. Aqua Ring restores his HP, so that's gonna, uh, mitigate... That, yeah, Bubble Beam, yeah, it looks like it is gonna be a water type. Could be water flying. That'd be pretty neat if it was water flying. Because, uh, it's actually a pretty decent type combination. Area, Aerial A, so it looks like it's probably gonna be water flying. Um, let's see, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a bite. Because Billy has really good physical attack power. Flinched and couldn't move. Sandstorm goes first and finishes the thing off before Aqua Ring takes effect. Okay, so that's a new guy, Ducklet. Looks like it's a water flying type. And it uh, learns Aqua Ring by level up, so. Yeah, these Pokemon Rangers, they give you berries. That's really nice. So that's, that's nice. Uh, I'm glad we switched out, because that was a water type. Stardust. More fizzy. Okay, let's go back and get a heal up. So yeah, that duck guy, um, I kind of like him. He looks pretty cool. I mean, kind of, kind of a basic looking duck compared to Psyduck, and, uh, is there, are there any other ducks? Psyduck, Golduck, um, Farfetch'd is an onion duck, or a wild duck, officially, but it's, uh, has an onion. We always used to call it the onion duck. Um, let's see, let's dig and kill this thing. But yeah, water flying is a pretty decent defensive type. I mean, obviously it gets murdered by electric, but, uh, if you steer clear of electric and, I guess, rock, you know, you're, uh, you're pretty well set. you got several nice resistances. And, uh, I meant to get a heal up before we fought this guy. Countless feelings and use these ruins. Here's another backpacker. Let's hope he's got something that, um, Justin can take out. Nate. And he's got a Dwebble, which is the, uh... Yeah, that, that thing. Uh, kind of like a Hermit Crab. Which, uh, isn't Slowbro actually called the Hermit Crab Pokemon? I want to think that Slowbro is called the Hermit Crab Pokemon, but anyway. This thing definitely looks more like a Hermit Crab than Slowbro does. Well, let's see, well, I believe this thing to be Bug Rock, so we're going to... Oh, well, I'm almost leveled up with Justin, too. I'm going to use Mud Slap. Okay, critical hit. Faint Attack, so that's like lulls. Uh, lower your accuracy, and then you just use Faint Attack, and you don't really care. Smackdown! This thing goes Smackdown! Um... I don't know what SmackDown exactly is going to do. Um, I don't want it to be a fighting type move. I don't know what type it is. Um, is the main thing. Let's see, who can we go to? Um, so I don't really want to go to Sally, because what if it's got a rock move? Um, and I can't go to Blair for fear of a bug move. If that SmackDown is fighting, I don't want to go to Aaron. And Billy is weak. So, Justin has the Eviolite, though. Um, let's just stay in and dig. And yeah, I'm, I'm faster anyway. Yeah, there was a bug bite too. So yeah, I need to find out what type smack, uh, Smackdown is. I assume it's either fighting or normal. Or attack gain. I wish he would get some defense gain. But uh, he does have the Ivia light right now, so... I don't know if I'm gonna want him to evolve. I don't know when he evolves. Um, I kinda want him to evolve before the gym. Unless that makes him evolve into a rock dark, I want him to stay ground. Okay, here's this thing uh, that we originally fought in the uh, during the sped up stuff, and uh, we know what to do for it now, though. We know how to handle this thing. We know that we can just go to Sally to take pretty much anything it throws at me. Neutral pin missile. That's the best offensive effort, I guess. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, this is a pretty interesting looking guy. Um, it looks cool enough to be fully evolved, but I don't know. I'm uh, definitely interested in using this thing in a future playthrough of the game. Looks pretty neat. So, we're gonna get our heal up. And now Billy is back to life. Good, good, good. Let's, let's, let's keep looking for trainers and items. Um, and then we're probably gonna head to the gym, I think. I don't think we fought this person before. A psychic. Ooh, uh, ominous music here when you encounter psychics. Yeah, you know how else you can tell I'm a trainer? Because I have Pokeballs. So, it looks like a female psychic, Sybil. Gothita! Really? We have a Pokemon now based on Gothic Lolitas. Are you kidding me? Well, anyway. Frisk! Okay, so this thing's got Frisk. Um, I know a couple guys who would not mind having a Gothic Lolita Frisk them. But, uh, this is such a fetish Pokemon, seriously. Anyway. Um, we're gonna do Thief. Because it's Stab and, yeah, super effective Embargo. I, I guess that gets rid of the effect from my Avelia light. But whatever, we're gonna 2 it KO. I probably should have just, uh, waited that thing out and seen what other moves it could use, but, eh, whatever. You know, I'll wait till we find a wild one later. And, uh,. And, uh, just test it out that way when we, uh, have a level advantage over it. I don't think we fought this person. I see another Pokeball up there that we can get. This is a pretty large desert area, actually. Backpacker Elaine. We fought, uh, Dr. Jerry earlier. So maybe we'll get a George and, uh, a Kramer at some point. Or a Cosmo, something like that. And, uh, this Maractus is a trainer level one, or a trainer one, so it's higher level. But we're gonna go to Sally, is our safest option. Um, I prefer to go to Kathy, but Kathy is not with us, so... Kathy is safe in the box to protect us from game overs. Air Cutter is our move of choice against this thing, Cotton Score. And I'm gonna check and see if this thing is a dark type. I don't, no, I don't, no, it's not a dark type, because I did Assurance on it earlier. And it uh, was not resisted, but let's use Heart Stamp anyway. Okay, so it's neutral to Psychic and neutral to Dark, so that uh, drops down the types it could be. Ooh, it's full of mysteries. Um, is it, did we not? Actually, what, why don't I? Uh, why don't I look at the uh, Pokedex here and see if we can get any? Uh, See if this thing's like maybe the evolve from a pedalil or something like that. Uh, no, it appears to be um. Yeah, yeah, okay. We've got a uh, Dharmaka. Um, let's scroll this on the top screen. We've got Dharmaka. The one below that is whatever that thing's evolve form is that I that's present in the opening, and then we have Maractus, which reminds me of uh, the guy from Apollo Justice, the uh, doctor, the victim in Case Two. Not to spoil anything there. And then we have Dwebble, who uh, might evolve. And yeah, it looks like Scraggy's gonna be a one-stage evolution because Sigalip is right there. So I guess that's okay. Um, ho hopefully we'll get that evolved pretty soon. Hopefully we'll get Aaron evolved. I was kind of hoping that she was a three-stage evolution, but yeah, that's fine. And here's these uh, these things up here. Um, are they Dharmas? Kind of like that Dharmaka thing? Super Potion. Okay. Oh, we need to have the, uh, have the radar on. Here's a dude we haven't fought yet. Another psychic, it looks like. The abilities of his Pokemans. Well, they have a little thing that goes on screen now, so I guess that's how we'll see him. Psychic Low, and, uh, these guys appear to be rather tanned. Yamas! What the crap's this? Okay. Uh, since it's a psychic guy... We assume he has a psychic type, and we have a couple of levels over it anyway. And intimidate. Um, let's see how good Justin's special defense is. Um, not very good whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna shift out to Aaron, just because Aaron has better defenses. Even with the Ivyolite, Aaron has much better defenses. 
Hex, new move. Uh, not very effective, so I take that to mean it is a... Probably a ghost move. Um, based on the name and the fact that uh, we resisted it, but weren't immune from it. So, um, we're gonna headbutt and see if this thing is ghost type. It is ghost type, okay? Nightshade. Holy crap! Um... Hmm, okay. Uh... So obviously Nightshade bypasses our stuff there. Uh, so this is Ghost type. Okay, that's good to uh, good to know. We're gonna use that Super Potion right now. Let's see if this thing wants to do something besides Nightshade. It does not. Um. Uh. Hmm. So, well, we know that Nightshade's not gonna get a crit, and we know that Nightshade is gonna deal set damage. But I'm gonna keep the storm. I need to see how much sandstorm is doing. I'll actually, measure that. Okay, nightshade is doing. Okay, 34. Down. Okay, so not. Okay, so that's doing three damage. So I just need to have 25 life. Um, so I just, I just need to have 25 life. So we're gonna use payback. And uh, unfortunately, I have, uh, well, I hit before, but I got a critical hit. Money. No mu. What the? Okay. Money. Aaron's ability became money. Sent out of Mina. Okay, that's weird, weird stuff. Um, uh, we can't see what Mummy does. I assume it to be uh, some sort of a maybe something like a, some sort of cursed ability, where like uh, so if you knock this thing out, you get like cursed, become a mummy or something, and like your stats fall, and maybe that thing has like really really high base stats. But because of its own ability, it gets some drop. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm going to assume that something bad has happened to Aaron. And uh, we're going to go back to Justin. Because I know Justin should be able to take out Nina without too much problem, I think. Intimidate. Hypnosis, Justin avoids it. And we're going to go for Thief. That's what we're going to use. Get a one-shot on it. Critical hit. Wow, back-to-back -back critical hits. And we get our own offense. So Justin up to 27, and now... What is that mummy ability? It appears to activate... I cannot really make good use of the ability mummy. Hmm. So that's some sort of ghost type guy. I don't know... Oh, okay. If an ability is changed to mummy, the Pokemon cannot use its original ability. It's suddenly devious, isn't it? Okay, well, I was... That's sort of stupid. If it just cancels the, the ability. Um... That could al that's almost like a good double battle thing to uh like the sloking or not sloking slocking and uh like just have him kill your own dude mummy and then it instantly gets rid of his truant so I don't know or something like that maybe like have like a level one mummy dude and have your uh, slocking with some sort of hit all move I don't know even though slocking learns that crap. But uh, something like that, so he can get that thing dead, and then he gets mummified and loses his ability. I don't know. Might be kind of interesting. Or, hey, you know, something with triple battles, too, could work, right? Okay, so we're still moving around the desert. This is a big place. One thing, yeah, that's one thing I noticed. These routes are pretty big. Pretty big routes. Yeah, I would like to get Justin up to about level 30. For the, uh, for the gym leader, anyway. Not necessarily this video. We'll probably be doing some further grinding in the next video. Now I'm thinking about switching Justin over to the um, to the soft sand so that his offense is a little bit better. I think, did I just avoid that torment? Well, anyway, I hit it first, so it wouldn't have mattered. I still could have used that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna switch. Uh, we're gonna put the, the soft sand. Soft sand. Here. We're gonna put this soft sand. We do have a black glasses that we can put on someone, but we're not gonna put that on anyone just yet. Um, after Aaron evolves, I'll probably put it on her. But for right now, she still can't evolve. So we're gonna put the Eviolite on her. And you have, that's probably my favorite new item that I've seen in this game, the Eviolite. Really helpful for in game. Any, especially since this is Nuzlocke, any kind of defensive increase that you cannot crit through, really nice, really nice. And uh, I am very interested in seeing how it's going to affect 
uh, Dustclops and uh, Chansey and stuff like that. Xerxes, I know you're watching and uh, are. Oh, okay, here's a Firestone. That's nice. Um, I know you're watching, but you know I'm, I'm not talking about using uh, if you like Dustclops in UU or NU. I'm talking about using it in actual OU, where you can use whatever, just in place of Noir, not as a sub Noir that you use to beat up uh, stuff in OU and, or in uh, UU and NU. Okay, here's this solo sis again. And uh, likewise, same with Chansey, just using it in OU as a Blissey replacement, potentially, with the Evia Light. I mean, I don't know how much that defense increase is, so how feasible that is. But, uh, and I obviously, I don't want to know until we finish the LP. Uh, but anyway, we have full life for this thing. Uh, I know that it learns hidden power, which kind of makes me wary, but, yeah. Um, I don't know what's... Yeah, I'm gonna go to Aaron because she is really tanky. She's actually really under leveled. Wow, um, over 23. I didn't even think about that. But uh, yeah, she's the same level as this thing. Light screen. She's gonna set up a light screen. We have brick break though, so we're gonna use brick break. Brick break will break the. Oh, and I just realized I have uh, animations turned off. I need to turn that back on. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna do headbutt. We're trying to figure out what type this thing is. Light screen. It's obsessed with setting up light screen. And yeah, this thing has Wonder Guard, we figured, or not Wonder, ma Magic Guard. Magic Guard, we figured that out. Let's see, holy crap, hidden power. It's super effective, however, it doesn't deal too much damage to us. Um, we're going to get a heal up. Heal up, we're going to get a heal up. That's why the battles have been moving a lot faster, it's because I have animations off. Fresh water, get our heal up. And, uh, that actually does quite a bit, but I think we should be able to finish this thing off with another Brick Break. No, we do not. Hidden power again, super effective. Um, so let's figure out what that hidden power could potentially be. Uh, we have a fighting dark type, therefore we have weaknesses to um, we have weaknesses to flying. We are immune to psychic. We are neutral to bug. We're weak to fighting and flying. And gosh, I'm not forgetting something. Let's see, um, that covers dark's two weaknesses. Fighting. No, no, fi fi fighting is only weak to flying and psychic. Okay, yeah, so it's just it's just flying and fighting that we're weak to. So it has to be one of those two types. Um, so regardless of which one it is, we could go to Sally. Um, I guess I could go to Justin. No, he's at the soft sand now. Okay, um, Hidden Power is probably still special. Uh, yeah, that would deal... Yeah, Aaron has 45... Defense with Evia Light. Justin had, or the special defense with Evia Light. Justin has 27, so that would roll over him if it is fighting type. So we're gonna go to Sally. Get you go to Sally. Even though this thing has like one hit point left, it's really annoying. But uh, which kind of wish I'd put up a torment on this thing. But uh, it wasn't very effective, so it looks like it was indeed a fighting move. So that's good that we did not go, did not go to uh, that thing. Not very effective. Um, so Psychic, not very effective with this thing, but Fighting Neutral? Did I, did I see that right? Okay, Woobat is its next thing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up an Attract. That one, Love, Assurance, yeah, for some reason. Um, let's see about Woobat. Let's see, we can switch. We can go to Justin, which is going to cancel the Attract, but um, I should have a pretty good advantage here. Intimidate in case it has heart stamp and prison shouldn't matter. Um, we're gonna do a thief. That's the damage air cutter. Oh wow, it's uh, quite a bit of damage there. Um, I don't want that to crit at all. However, I'm pretty sure that we were faster. We're not faster. Holy crap! What the? Cr we were faster last time. Gosh, game, don't do that to me. See, that's why. Even if I'm faster in one uh, turn, I. Like, I'm always afraid of it being like a speed tie or some crap like that, unless I'm like absolutely sure I'm faster because I'm like 10 levels higher and I'm Blair. Yeah, if that had critical hit, it, Justin would have died, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you guys can check the math on that. But holy crap, see, this is why we don't, this is why we do not, do not take risks like that anymore. So that was, that was really, really dangerous. And, uh, gosh, so annoying. Seriously, like. Don't make me faster and then not faster. Be freaking consistent. Ugh, this game. Anyway, 
we are uh, trying to avoid grass. Oh, that's another thing too I wanted to mention. Uh, during the grind session, I was like, why are we not encountering wild Pokemons? And uh, I remembered that bec it's because we have Justin leading off, and Justin has Intimidate. Intimidate, it does something with the reduction of wild encounters, if it's maybe low-level wild encounters, something like that. Um, okay, apparently there's an item down this way. Right, here, okay. But yeah, Intimidate reduces encounter- Oh, a rare candy, nice! Nice! Um, Rare Candy does something with the reduction of the encounter rates, so maybe that's just for low-level guys, because we're still getting a pretty good encounter rate right here. But yeah, on that topic of Rare Candy, um, not that it really affects this playthrough in any way, but uh, A180 has been discussing with me, and uh, it looks like items are not transferable from 4th into 5th. Uh, we need TMs, we're not. But, uh, it's looking like held items in general are not. Um, I don't know that for sure, but uh, if so, obviously that means I can't trade my rare candy and life orb and choice item stockpiling here. Which is sad in a way, but in a way it's okay, because that way- <laughs> Go Goggles! Come all the way from the Hoenn region, awesome. See, I was mentioning that earlier. But anyway, uh, in a way that's okay because that means that I get to keep that stuff on fourth generation and just, you know, keep it on fourth generation, so that's... Uh, I'm okay with that, um, obviously I prefer it to have the option, but anyway. So here's Rock Tomb, it's back as a TM. Uh, I want to see if we got an upgrade, which has, so that way I'll just get to keep all my life orbs and stuff on fourth generation, so, you know, as I mentioned before, I will still be battling fourth generation stuff, so... Yeah, okay. Here's Rock Tomb. Um, looks pretty much the same as before. Um, still a sort of middle-of-the-road rock move. I mean, it's nice for the... It's pretty much just the speed cut is the only good thing about it. Um, as for who can learn it, um, Aaron, J Justin... Uh, Aaron, I think, already has a couple good abilities, right? Or good, uh, good moves. Let's see. She's got... Um, yeah, we're going to keep her stuff for right now. However, Justin, I think, I think Justin has a couple of throwaway moves that we could uh, go ahead and get rid of, such as potentially Mud Slap. Um, well, I don't know. We might want to keep Mud Slap just for the accuracy drop. And Torment um, is potentially a pretty good move, too. Um, this is only 50 power. This is pretty weak. Uh, it's gonna be his weakest move because Thief gets stabbed. Yeah, so we're we're gonna give up on Rock Tomb. So yeah, we're not we're not gonna use Rock Tomb. Uh, if I get a Rock type later that I need a Rock move for, maybe I might use that temporarily. But yeah, whatever. Okay, we're gonna continue to search for treasures. And what are, what time are we at? Um, let's see. After the grind session, the grind session. This video was approximately uh, 35, 40 minutes in real time. I think so. See, that puts us at about 30 minutes? I don't, I don't know. It's an hour and 10 minutes as I'm filming this because of the grind session. But anyway, I'm going to intimidate. And yeah, I was going to grind in here, but these things are like way too strong. Like, their, uh, their headbutts were dealing like a crap load of damage. I was, I was pretty scared. Uh, we're able to one-shot them with the soft sand boost and digs, so as long as we can one-shot them and dodge their attacks and stuff, I'm cool with that. So, yeah. Okay, I think we pretty much... Okay, here's the, the Relic Castle. Um, Okay, let's go on the Relic Castle. Go ahead and look in here. We may not explore it fully this video. Relic Castle. Okay, we can't uh, go in from here. This is an exit point. And it looks like there's an item up here. It's probably your reward. We're surviving the Relic Castle. See if there's any new guys in here. Uh, here's a Sand Dial. So, uh, level 20. This may be a pretty safe spot to blind, to, find, to grind up Blair. Although, uh, if that Blitzel has Flame Charge as one of its, like, default moves, then like, it's gonna be a common move on it. I don't really want to use Blair in this upcoming gym. Prefer to use Justin. To block those stab moves. 
And uh, we could still use Aaron, but at this point, Aaron is kind of under leveled. She's gonna need some, uh, some serious help. She's gonna need a grind session soon, sooner, soon, uh, somewhat soon anyway. Yeah, here's this. I want to investigate these. What are these? The crispy statue of Pokemon. Statue of Pokemon. So yeah, this is this could be the uh, looks like a Dharma doll in a way. At first, I thought the uh, the red things kind of reminds me of Bronzong. I thought the red things might be the eyes, which would make them look evil or something. But uh, I think those are the eyebrows. Dharma dolls are uh, kind of marked by their eyebrows. Is one of the things. So. Again, Dharma or Daruma, depending on if you wanna pronounce it with uh, an English, whatever, or uh, pronounce it the way a Japanese person would due to syllabic alphabet for the win. So yeah, let's see if we can go in here. We do have to enter from the front. Front entry only. I think the camera got tilted or something. Anyway, yeah. Okay, let's go in here. We got, we got fully healed. And, uh, we have Justin leading off, and yeah, we have we have level 28, Blair, Billy, level 27, Justin, level 26, Sally, and Aaron is level 23. She's kind of lagging behind, so we need to get her up there. Kathy's probably a little bit lagging behind too. Let's talk to this dude. There are two things I've learned about quicksand: if you try to walk through the middle, you'll fall; if you try to run through it, you'll fall. Okay, um, that's somewhat obvious. Okay, here's a psychic dude. Started making noises. Is that because we're in the ruins, or because it's me? And yeah, seriously, um, a lot of dark-skinned people in here. So uh, that's interesting. Very interesting that we're finally getting some uh, racial inclusiveness in the Pokémons. Interesting to see that. However, you still can't pick your uh, your player character to be of uh, you know different skin tones, kind of like in PBR. Uh, we found out that this thing, well, it could have some other moves, but we're not weak to flying moves anyway. So uh, we're gonna go with Thief. Light screen. It's gonna set up a light screen. Yeah, I'm just afraid this thing is gonna have some sort of uber powerful like attack of some thing. It's and it's gonna air cutter. Yeah, like air cutter. Okay. Yeah, like air cutter, <laughs> which has a high crit rate. So yeah, um, we don't have anything that resists flying because I don't have Rog and Rolla. Um, Let's see, we want to go to, um, we can't go to Aaron, obviously. Yeah, so 24 level of these guys, and I like how the sprites slow down. Level 24 of these things, they have, uh, access to air cutter now, so we definitely have to be careful there. I think even with, if we had had Eviolite, it would have been a 2 at KO, so it would have been very dangerous regardless. But, uh, wow, that did, uh, did way more than it was supposed to. It did, uh... 79. Double that, and uh, that's, gonna, that's gonna be a, a critical hit kill. Um, however, Sally is really, really fast. Um, and I don't exactly want to just play this heal game all day. Or do I? Because I, I would live a crit when it, if I was at full life. Um, okay, yeah, let's, let's heal up and see if this thing wants to do anything different. And give us a chance uh, to be safer against it. Like, maybe, like, reset its light screen or something after that runs out. Yeah, we're gonna keep on healing. We're gonna continue to heal. Continue to heal. Heal me up. Heal me up. Air cutter. And there's a potential that air cutter could miss, too. Okay, light screen wore off. There's a pretty good chance that it's gonna set that back up. But we're gonna heal up anyway in case it wants to continue to attack. Signal good. I'm looking forward to using this thing. Okay, and this thing is just... Yeah, okay, now we've got a critical hit. Um, let's see, we're gonna get back up. 50 with, uh, fresh water would get us back up to, back up to full. Whirlwind, okay, now this, now Whirlwind's working in a trainer battle. Interesting. Um, okay. And, uh, you know, Blair should be faster and should kill with Tackle, yeah. But if she gets Whirlwinded, she's probably gonna die. This is, this is frustrating. Okay, um... 67 speed with Sally, 63 with Billy. And uh, who has the better special D? 41. Uh, actually, it's Billy. So we're going to go to Billy. He also has access to Bite to definitely finish this thing off. So here comes Billy. 
air cutter. And, uh, yeah, we're, I'm just gonna go for the bite. I'm gonna go for bite. Finish this thing off. Get it out of my way. Yeah, holy crap. So yeah, I was expecting this thing to have some sort of a air cutter or something like that. So Sally gets some stat gains. Psychic parry. Yeah, so apparently a uh, whirlwind does not work if it's used by a wild Sigalip, but it only it's it's still pseudo hazes, so that's good to know. That would be bad if it didn't. But uh, it looks like it does not work when a wild Pokemon uses it against you. It doesn't like in the battle, which is weird because I thought Roar in um, in Gold and Silver that was one of the most annoying things about catching the three beasts is that you couldn't just mean look them because they knew Roar and they would use it to end the battle. So apparently that's no longer the case. So that could be potentially good for any um any of the uh, legend yeah legendaries. Any of the what are those things called the runners. The runner legendaries like Mesprit and Cress. All those guys. So we're gonna dig. I'm trying to get a one shot on this thing. I think we got intimidated though, so it may not be a one shot. Yeah, he lives with a little bit due to Intimidate. Torment, I don't really care. We're just going to finish this thing off with a Mud Slap. Pretty much all Mud Slap is there for is just to deal the requisite damage needed to finish things off. Yeah, it might be nice to get just into level 30 for the gym, or for the leader. Okay, let's go back in here. There was, there was another Psychic. So... Oh, whoa, 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 crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! Uh, I wasn't aware that that tile was part of the quicksand, obviously. Item, though, we get a revive, which is useless in a Nuzlocke, so we'll just sell that when we get a chance. And, uh, yeah, I want to see if there are exclusively sand dial in here. If it was so, then this is a great spot to train up Blair. Because, uh, if we could get Blair to evolve to her third form, that'd be great. That would be, like, really, really great. So, that, I mean, that may be our grind session for next video. Before we take on the gym leader. Depending on how how Justin fares. 28. Seems like it might be a good time for him to evolve for the first time. Torment. Yeah, I'm considering if we want to use Torment, maybe, in the gym. And that way, if the gym... If the Pokemon has, like, some... Oh, this move is so annoying. Why does he keep spamming it? We can basically prevent him from spamming it and then, you know, do something with setup and then heal, setup, heal, setup, heal, while he can't spam the same move over and over again. So, okay, we're gonna stick to the top of the screen after we fight this wild Pokemon. Yeah, so far, it looks to be exclusively Sandile. Um, there could be some rare encounter in here. Uh, I guess that's okay. So yeah, it looks like you're more or less guaranteed a sand dial if you come here. So that's good because of the electric gym. And it's already going to be like a level 20 or so one too. I think we got Justin at level 21. Assurance. Not going to be too effective. But yeah, our sand dial has dig. And so the enemy sand dials do not as dig as a TM move. Really nice. Really nice TM to get. Especially given that we're about to fight an electric gym. Okay, so here's this other psychic girl. Magical power. Okay. What is this thing called? The uh, Relic Castle? Psychic Dua has two things. One of which is a Woobat. And, uh... You know, we, we should be okay. I mean... Mm. It's another one of those cases where it's just got that strong special attack and Justin is just not that good on special defense, or physical defense, really. He's really a sweeper. But, um... Hmm. I don't want... I don't, obviously, I do not want to lose the guy we need for the gym. We do have Justine uh, sitting in reserve should something happen to Justin. But, you know, I, I would prefer Justin for the Intimidate. And, uh... No, pretty, pretty much just for the Intimidate. And for the fact that he's male. But, you know... Let's see, we have Sally and Billy, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just not really that confident that, uh, that we can take a critical hit, razor, or, uh, air cutter, I'm just not sure about that, um, let's 
Yeah, but, uh, well, no. Okay, how, how, uh, how is his special? Is it really, really that bad? It is 27. Uh, yeah, it really is that bad. That's like over 10 points less than everyone else on the team. So I want to see how strong Wubat's air cutter is. It's really predictable for him to use. See how much damage that does to Billy in prison, which he does instead. That would have been nice if I went ahead and sealed him off, or uh, killed him off there. Now let's just bite. Bite. Let's see if we can get a one hit KO on this thing. And we can. Yeah, Billy is kind of, kind of over leveled, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. So here's Luna. Forewarn. Alert to the Skulls. Don't care. We're going to go to... Back out to Justin. I don't know if Muna is a combination type or pure psychic. But anyway. In prison. So in prison being uh, being used here. That's kind of a kind of a kinky move in some ways. But we're gonna use Thief. For a two-hit KO probably. Now, I, do, I do have the soft sand, so I can't steal any held items. Hypnosis does land, but I'm not really threatened offensively, so. And we can't see Justin's eyes to see if he's got him closed. Oh, Muna does no moonlight, which makes sense. And probably the best thing about him here is that it's not sandstorming. So we wake up and use Thief. And uh, we just went ahead and killed it that time. Did enough damage. We get a level up out of it, 28. We get some HP gain. Uh, still not getting much special defense gain, which is troubling. Wants to learn Crunch! Nice! Okay! Excellent! Um... Yeah, since we're not really being able to steal items effectively, let's get rid of Thief. That's gonna be a huge upgrade for Thief. And now we have Crunch. And let's see if learning Crunch will allow us to evolve into Crocorock. Which I think is what this thing's evolved for. Let's see. Okay, no, no, no evolution yet. But I hope it's coming soon. Hopefully coming soon. Coming soon. Yeah, I think we're going to... Oh, okay, here's something different. Here's this, uh, Yamask thing. We learned, uh, in one of the previous fights that this is a ghost type. And its ability, or at least one of them, is Mummy. And we also know that it has Nightshade, which isn't too threatening to me right now. We're gonna crunch and see... Well, this thing is a ghost type, so it's gonna get killed by crunch. Okay, so that's cool. Let's see how much experience this thing gives. 151, that's not too bad. That's, uh... Not extremely good, but not horrible either. So, yeah, we're gonna go get healed up though, for whatever reason, just because we like to get healed up. We're gonna get healed up, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going in the in the relic castle. I think it's gonna be the bulk of this video is the stuff in the desert. Okay, here's the uh, the dwebble thing, right? One of the things that I wouldn't have minded to uh, catch one of these. Bug rock. Anytime you get a rock type. And a Nuzlocke, it's nice because you can go to those things with explosions. Ghost types too, but you know. Uh, being that it's Bug, Rock, it's neutral to both my moves. Let's go with Crunch, just because it's a uh, quicker animation to resolve. Faint attack. Resistant though. Uh, Dig, Dig had the higher power due to soft sand, but uh, Crunch had the quicker animation, so that's what we went with. 220, not bad. Okay, we're going to get a heal up, and then we're going to go back into the relic castle. Back to the castle. And yeah, Intimidate is not really uh, working as much in this place, I guess because the Pokemon are at higher level. Sand Isles. Yeah, we're definitely going to train up Blair in there. And we're probably going to go to Justin to take out any of the, those uh, mummy things, whatever they're called. The, the ghost thing, the mask, something about a mask is all I remember. It's because it has like a mask on its tail or something like that. Weird looking thing, but uh, I kind of like it, the mummy ability. I wonder uh, I wonder if there are any other effects to that mummy ability besides just it becomes uh, essentially a gastro acid when you die. Like if it's permanent or whatever. I mean, most Pokemon don't really rely on their ability. There are few that do, obviously, like the Fable and Shedinja, to uh, to be effective. But uh, most Pokemon don't really rely on their ability. Um, Breloom is another one that kind of does. Um, 
Let's see if we can, so to get through the quicksand we have to walk and not run, right? And that kind of makes sense. So we have to walk, not run. Because if you run, it just makes it, uh, you just stir it up more and you fall even faster. So uh, that, that's something that's uh, kind of obvious and good to know for real life, too. Of course, if you're in those places, why are you in those places? Why are you not playing Pokemon? And the DS is not at the proper angle, which bothers me. There we go. And yeah, seriously, last night when I was filming parts 11 and 12, my neck, like, started hurting from hunching over this DS. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna keep Justin in the lead off position. And we're going to calmly walk over here. Oh, okay, I've been carrying two Pokemon fossils, but they're just so heavy. Okay, so the fo new fossils, right? Um, however, because... Well, let's see. Um, no, according to... Okay, according to the rules that I laid in place, this may not be true for everyone. Um, what counts for the... Um, the purpose of meeting a Pokemon in an area, it counts for whatever it says met in. So in this case, even though we obtained this fossil in here, we obtained the Pokemon, presumably, in, uh, what was that, Macrine City? The city with the museum? So uh, I think that's what we're going to consider that to be. So that'll be a new guy we can cash in. We're, we're getting the ticket here, but we're going to get the actual Pokemon in Macrine City. Now, if, obviously, if there was grass or something in Macrine City, or something, a gift Pokemon like uh, Panpour, then uh, we wouldn't be able to cash the ticket in because we already got a Pokemon for Nacreen City. But in this case, it looks like we, uh, at least that's what, I think I set that out, because I think A180 cautioned me about that at some point, and uh, that's what I made the determination on. Obviously, your mileage may vary. But we have, anyway, we have two fossils here, the cover fossil and the plume fossil. Um, let's see, um, plumage makes me think like feathers. Um, so potentially like a rock flying type, I don't know. Oh, that one I remember now. Um, I, I think I mentioned in the spoiler reel, there's an Archaeopteryx Pokemon, right? So, uh, that's probably what makes sense for this to be. The Plume Fossil may be that Archaeopteryx Pokemon, because plumage, you know, makes me think of a bird. So, what's a bird that would be found in a fossil? An Archaeopteryx. So that's probably what this is. But we already have two flying types. We have Sally and Kathy. So I, I'm definitely interested in seeing that thing because I Archaeopteryx is kind of a cool guy. But uh, we're going to pick the cover fossil because I don't know what this thing is. I hear it is the fossil of an ancient Pokemon who just swim in the ancient sea. Okay. So cool. Museum in the Queen's Okay. Because Lenora loves bones and fossils. Okay, so... uh yeah, we're going to be getting a uh, new guy in the Korean city, it looks like. It's going to be a fossil Pokemon, so maybe that'll be a rock type. And uh, as I was just mentioning earlier, anytime you get a rock type, really nice, because you can go to those guys to pick Explosion. They usually have high defense. Really nice. Okay, what's this guy doing? Trainer, you can't move ahead because there's so much sand. Okay. Um, okay. Alright, let's go down here. Let's see if we can fall in the quicksand. Yes, we can. Okay. And, oh, okay, we just go right down here. Alright. So, that's, uh, that's, so apparently we can't explore any further in the Relic Castle until we progress further in the game. So, let's just intimidate back at me. You know, let's try to kill this thing. Yeah, we're definitely going to be grinding Blair up in here, I think. Um, and potentially using, probably using Justin against those mask things if they pop up. But yeah, that's probably going to be what we're going to be grinding with in the next part, because it looks like pretty consistent appearance of Sandile in this area. And that's really good. And yeah, here's the, uh, yeah, mask. So, like, uh, Yami plus mask, like Mask of Darkness, something like that, maybe. Although, uh, it's obviously not a dark ghost type. You know, it is a ghost type because it's weak to crunch. Um, it could be psychic ghost. I, um, I didn't really think about that. Which is a, a pretty interesting combination, but obviously gets absolutely destroyed. Two 4x weaknesses. Not a great type. 
So, uh, but would be an interesting type. Nice one just to just to have it. And I honestly, if it is Psychic Ghost, that actually is fine because part of the point of it with that mummy ability is to die. So that's kind of its job is to die. So having a type combination that makes it easier for it to die makes it easier to fulfill its role, I guess. So interesting guy anyway. Everything is so interesting. But it uh, looks like we're done in the Relic Castle. I think that's what this place was called. And this is the Desert Resort, right? Yeah, Desert Resort. Okay, so we're going to get a heal up. And now we're going to head back to the city. And we're going to go into the gym, I think. Um, probably next video we're going to be exploring some of the si more of the city. And possibly ne we're going to head back to Nacreen City in the next video. All the way back to Nacreen City and get our new fossil guy, who I'm hoping will be at least level 20, so we can kind of start using him. And uh, obviously, we're not going to be SRing for any nature or ability. Usually, fossil guys only have one ability, or do they? No, no, no. Some, they usually have two abilities, that's right. Some of them have one, but uh, a couple have two. Like the uh, battle armor and swift swim on the original Kanto fossil Pokemon, so. Yeah, we'll be doing that. But what we're gonna do right now, I think we got our heal up, right? Um, check our stats. Yeah, we got our heal up. And there's a lot of trainers in this place, too. But I wanna go ahead and check out the gym just to see what kind of levels we're gonna be up against. And yeah, here's the Pokemon Center. Oh, that is this place. Battle Institute. Yeah, so lots of places you can battle in here. I wonder if you get experience, so that's what I'm interested in. What is this? Is this, the, this looks like the big stadium. This is a baseball game in a big stadium. Favorite athletes Pokemon. I'm sorry, I just can't go in the field because the game's in progress. Okay, you three are all trained to say the same things. So. Well, here's a dude. Talk to him. Should you look up the athletes when you're a kid? Yeah, I've never been that giant into sports, honestly. Um, Yahoo! People watching. Watching baseball. If you're good at baseball, looks really? They look professional athletes who are out there grungy and sweaty look attractive. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, they're turn like that. Yeah, I wonder if you could uh, hit your Pokeballs with a baseball bat. That'd be cool. On the field, they play games in earnest. Yee, turn this way! And then a bonnet. Following a ball right and left is too losing. So yeah, baseball fans, right? And they, apparently they also play football in here. Sports. So yeah, first Pokemon game that puts an emphasis on sports. Interesting. Lots of cool towns in this game, I gotta say. Um, not too keen on the names of some of them, but pretty interesting towns. Yeah, football players in my Pokemon game. I guess that makes sense because uh, A180 was mentioning that this is sort of like Poke America. So that's probably why American football and baseball, although baseball's big in Japan too. But yeah. Boston City. An air balloon, yeah. We need to see about getting one of those items. Okay, here's the musical theater. This way to uh to route one of the later numbered routes, but it's one of the earlier routes we can access. Ferris wheels. I was a good girl, so I got to go to the amusement park. Nimbasa's, oh, okay, Nimbasa's Pokemon Gym is the amusement park. Ah, okay, so let's go this way then. This is toward the gym. And for some reason there's a, a gap here that we have to, like, there's a threshold. Let's see if there's a, it's a different save area. See, this is Nimbasa City. And we go through this arch, and now we're in... Oh, yeah, we're still in Nimbasa City, according to the save screen, so... Oh, um, this son of a... Word. Okay. Why are you guiding us, to Team Plasma? You're guiding us into a trick. You killed Chelsea and you must die! Perhaps this. No! 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 Why? No! Why are we getting on? No! No! No, 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 no! Do not! Do not! Do not! Okay. I must tell you, I'm the king of Team Plasma. Okay. Where's your crown, then? Guess this asked me to work with him to save that Pokemon's... Right. 
Okay, so he's the king. He's the king of Team Plasma. I wonder how many Pokemons exist in this world. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm wondering if he's not being manipulated by Gestus or Getsis or whatever. But anyway, my lord in. So weird to see a king in a baseball cap. No, I don't follow your logic. Mother Effers. Okay, so yeah, now we know that he's associated with Team Plasma. <sighs> I'm glad we have some high level guys. He has a sand dial. Level 22, okay, yeah, this should be hopefully not that bad. Alright, yeah, we have, uh, I'm gonna get an intimidate on him. And, uh, he can't really do much to us, I don't think. But, uh, so yeah, we have Blair and Billy we could go to. I'm gonna pick Blair because we want her to get experience for the gym. Embargo, which is gonna negate our Miracle Seed, but that's okay. Let's go for a Mega Drain. Mega Drain! Whoop! Hopefully a 2 hit KO. Oh yeah, easy 2 hit KO. Kinda wish I had done a growth there, though. That way I could be back at full life now. He opts to uh, not use a potion or anything either, so... Clearly he knows this is a losing fight, and he's not nuzz blocking, so what does he care? Um, I think he had the cat, right? Okay, he also has one of these things. So, we could either, we could go to Billy, or Justin, um, but Justin's defenses are so bad, and I know this thing hits really hard. I'm gonna play safe and go to Billy. Even though I'd rather have Justin get the experience. We're just gonna go to Billy. Okay, a fire punch, which is, which is resisted by Billy. And, uh, that's a, okay, that's a critical hit. I was gonna say, holy crap, if that did that much... A non-critical hit. Holy crap. So that did, what, 40 damage, so it's gonna deal 20 damage. This thing hits hard. Yeah, this thing hits really hard. Holy crap. Good thing we have Skull. Which, uh, hopefully we'll take the thing out. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be that, and we get a critical hit back on him. I doubt we needed it, though. Because Billy's pretty strong. He has a Scraggy, too. So he's got some stuff from the desert. Uh, I'm going to leave Billy in and use Rock Smash, because it's super effective, see if we can get a defense cut as well, and we do. Swagger, yeah, we can't sing it on Swagger, definitely not, definitely not, um, we can't sing it on that, it's because we're going we're gonna to kill ourselves. Um, there's no one really good to go to on this thing, it's probably got Brick Break, I know it's really slow, I, I wish I could just leave Billy in, but I can't, because... I do have a full heal, which I could I could use that full heal. Um, how many guys does he have left? He has two guys left. Um, so I don't want to like he full heal and then stupid stuff occur. Um, I don't really want to go to Blair either though, just because Blair is so important to me. And uh, let's we'll see what her defenses are like compared to Billy's. Okay, actually, her physical defense is pretty good, so she can probably take this. Okay, so we're gonna switch. We're gonna switch Billy out. We're gonna go to Blair. Yeah, it does have a brick break. See how much damage this does? Probably quite a bit. And yeah, that dealt uh, dealt quite a bit. However, um, I'm pretty sure Mega Drain will take this thing out, or uh, if if nothing else, it will get us some HP back. So Larry's Mega Drain. If it doesn't take it out, we're going to get above a critical hit. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we get back up to 59, so that's good. And Blair gets a level up. Very, very nice. Needed that. Get some, uh, some offensive gains. Sigil Lips. So she has one of these, too. And, uh, we know what this thing does. We know what this thing does. We know that our best option against it is Sally. Because of, uh... Actually, Sally's not really that great an option against it, but we, we fought a level 24 one of these things earlier, so... Critical hit, okay, yeah. What we're gonna do, but th thanks to this thing being male, not Pokeballs. Yeah, we're gonna heal that off. And so, let's make a note that a critical hit is dealing... Uh, 42, no, 42 damage. Hellwind, okay, good. 
good use of a move uh, to do that, because now we're going to use Attract. Air Cutter again. No critical hit this time. And uh, we're above a critical hit Air Cutter. So we're going to take that option to use Assurance. It's in Love. Immobilized by Love. Morgan Ainsland effect coming into play here. And... Yeah, the critical hit was dealing like about 40, so we should be well above that. So we're gonna use Assurance again. And it is... Using Whirlwind! Whirlwind! So I'm blown away. That will cancel the effect of Attract. Um, obviously, we cannot... Okay, Tailwind petered out. Uh, obviously, we cannot... Cannot take this hit with Aaron. Definitely not. Even a non-crit may kill her. So we're gonna go back to Sally. Back to Sally it is. Air Cutter. We know that we're gonna leave even a critical hit, but we will have to heal regardless. So... Okay, let's get our heal up. What do we need? Um, yeah, fresh water will suffice. To get us back up to full life. And this thing is close today. We're just gonna probably just gonna attack it. No sense in setting up with the trash. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this thing is psychic flying based on the way its air cutter is dealing tremendous damage and just other, other things. So, yeah, another psychic flying, it, uh, it sort of appears to be. Because it what was struck by our fighting moves, albeit not for very much. Team Plasma in. So that was the same. Yeah, so, uh, got some good money from that. And, uh, yeah, forced. Forced fight with N, and uh, this time we did not lose a guy. So Chelsea, we will, we are avenging you. We have a future that I must change, and for that future, oh, up close with here, I'll defeat the champion, become unbeatable, unlike any other. Make all trainers free their Pokemon, and just try and stop me. Dang right, we're gonna stop you. If you want to be together with Pokemon, your only hope is to collect the badges from each area and head for the Pokemon League. Try and stop me there if you dare. If your conviction is not strong enough, you will never be able to defeat me! <laughs> I think we just beat the crap out of you, dude. But anyway, you got... Well, no, you didn't get swept. We actually had a... Somewhat of an ordeal. Uh, but, uh... Fortunately, we were never really in a huge pickle. And, uh, guess why that is, guys? Because these guys are kinda overleveled. So if we weren't, we would be good grief. Like I know these grinding sessions may be kind of getting annoying, but holy crap, they're so necessary. Cause when you can't afford to let any of your Pokemon faint at any time for any reason, you need overleveled guys. And this game is already making it hard enough with the with the sliding experience system. So yeah, unfortunately the grind sessions will have to continue, but the annotation system seems to be working pretty well. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. And sometimes it's nice to have, you know, two minutes of the video where I'm not talking, huh? Roller coasters. A clown! Actually, it's a Harlequin. Oh, look! Pikachu! Even though Pikachu isn't found in this region, because it's... Yeah. The like, whole you are, amusement parks are always exciting. I was never really a big fan of amusement parks, like... You know, Elisa. There we go. The Shining Beauty. Yeah, I'm interested to see how exactly beautiful she is. Well, here we go. We got some uh, vending machines right outside. We've got a crap load of money now. Holy crap. Yeah, we can probably start doing uh, Audino stuff um, in future grind sessions. Probably next part we will be going back to the to the Desert Castle, or the uh, Relic Castle, rather. And uh, grinding up Blair and Justin there for this gym. However, in, after we beat this gym, we're probably going to... Yeah, we're going to get like three guys, and this is part 13, right? Yeah, part 13. 14, we're going to fight Alesa, or Elisa, like Electric, Elisa, I don't know. However that's pronounced. Interesting name. Not really, but, uh, could have just been Elise. Anyway, whatever. Electric Diva Girl. But, yeah, we're gonna fight her in part 14, and then part 15, we're gonna, we're gonna get, like, three new guys in part 15, so... Really filling out the roster in part 15. That's probably, yeah, I have already know what part 15 is going to be called unless something horrible happens. So, okay, so that's that stocks us to the back up a little bit on fresh water. Let's explore around here. Get some, get an X attack. Could be useful. 
as we don't have work up on uh, that guy. Okay, we can't get into the Ferris wheel, apparently. I guess that we only got that one shot at it when we were riding within. Crash can's empty. Let's go to the gym. Okay, oh, we have a... Uh... What's up, Clyde? The gym is a roller coaster. Clyde's giving us free fresh waters. This roller coaster gym, the first step is to get in the car. Next comes the platform where you can change what the coaster is going. Okay. Yeah, we kind of know that. Okay, so there's different cars. Interesting. These gyms are all like... Well, last gym was kind of neat. But uh, this looks like a really interesting gym. So, we have level 28 Justin. Here are his stats. And we have level 29 Blair. Here are her stats. And we're going to see if we can get her up two or three levels and evolved before we fight the gym leader. But right now we're going to go in here and take out some of the gym trainers. Uh, we're going to pick this route because it's a blue one. We like blue. Blue is, blue is our favorite color. Okay, so we're going to get off here. And uh, here is a person. And uh, I think... I am going to, let's see, where's Aaron? We're going to take the Eviolite off Aaron, and we're going to give it to Justin. Just in case there's some sort of sneaky sneak move that uh, I need to be able to take the hit a little bit better. You know, just in case. So, just in case. That's a pun. Pun names. Okay, we're going to shift the camera a little bit, I think. I'm so anal attentive about this camera. Okay, your fashion sense, it seems kind of Nuvema Town. Okay. So I want to see what this person looks like. This is the girl I said looked kind of nice with the... Okay, this, yeah, these are the ladies. Okay, Lady Magnolia. Emolga and Emo. But perhaps this. Looks like a, uh, it looks like a flying Pachirisu. Like a flying squirrel Pachirisu. Um... I mean, it is just like a flying squirrel, right? Um, let's see if it is in fact flying by using Mud Slap before I waste my time. Double team, really, really game. Evasion claws, please. Evasion claws. Yeah, okay. So this thing is a looks like it's an electric flying type. I'm guessing. We're gonna have to go for Crunch then. Pursuit. Why would you use Pursuit? Anyway, Crunch. Crunch him up. Yeah, let's just go for a two at KO on this thing. It's not a. Uh, not screw around with the, uh, with the torment or anything like that to prevent it from just spamming double team. Uh, we, all we gotta do is land one more crunch and it's dead. And it appears to have no options outside pursuit. So yeah, uh, I'm guessing this is electric flying. This looks like it's gonna be the Pikachu of this game. I mean, is, does that si not seriously look like a Pachirisu face? But then it's got like some other crap. Like, and what's up with that name, Emolga? I don't, I don't get that name. That's a weird name. Um, I really don't get it. Um, I don't know. Overall, I haven't really... I think on average, I've been uh, pretty dis disappointed with the names of Pokemon in this game. The designs are fine, but some of the names are uh, really weird. Makes me really glad that you can uh, nickname things, huh? This thing continues to spam double team. Continues to spam double team. However, Crunch will land and finish this thing off, so that gets rid of all the double teams. We're gonna level up. It'd be really nice if we can get Justin to level 30, maybe get him evolved. And uh, she's got another one of these things. So we're gonna use Torment this time to prevent it from spamming double team. Critical hit on that, but we don't really care. Torment. So now it will not be able to spam double team, and we're just gonna crunch it to death. I can use it once, but now it has to do something else. Yeah, more evasion claws, please. It's gonna be a two at KO. Justin has really good attack power. And pursuit is not exactly the best option against him anyway. So yeah, she can only double team every other turn, so that's gonna be an advantage for us in the long run, I guess. Anyway, we keep missing moves. We need to miss move. And, uh, we're gonna have to heal momentarily if we don't get a hit in on this thing. 
Very annoying enemy. Very annoying. But he, anyway, crunch goes. And lands this time. Critical hit. Static. Will paralyze Justin. So, uh... Rare to see a ground type paralyzed, but we did. Thought it'd be the fashionista. Yeah, oh, wow. Lots of money. Lots of money. Because Oh, here, okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, level 29, I think that was. Justin, evolution. Evolution is taking place. The level after it learned crunch. Let's go. Crest of friendship. Okay, so Justin evolves into Crocorock, so now it's standing upright. Cool. Awesome, alright, so we got our uh, evolution here. Let's, let's make sure it's still ground type. Yes, still ground and dark type. Okay, same set, same set. Okay. Uh, intimidate, st same ability, that's good to know. And, uh. Yeah, defenses are still pretty bad. However, um. Attack power is. It's still not as good as Billy's, but I don't know, actually he's not other than Billy. Seriously, um Oh Billy has naughty nature, that's one. That's what that's one reason his attack power is so high. But uh yeah. Um This thing is it's not even faster than Billy. I don't know. Why is why is Simapore so decently stat statted? Anyway, um, I, I I think this is the fully evolved form. Uh, obviously, Eviolite is no longer useful on him now. Or at least I'm assuming that it's not. So we're going to give that back to Aaron. We're going to give Justin Soft Sand. If his digs can deal more damage. Black Glasses would have been more helpful right there, though. Let's check the Pokedex. Check out our new guy. The new guy is... Oh, and actually, there is a possibility that this is only a um, an intermediary stage because we're gonna move the DS up here. We have we have Basculin right here, and then we have Sandile the Crocorock, and then we have a gap here before we have Darumaka. So this is either a standalone guy or another stage of Crocorock can evolve further because Crocorock, I don't know. I mean, he looks pretty nice, but I think it looks like he could definitely stand to evolve further. And just based on the way his stats are compared to um, Simapore and uh, Billy, yeah, it, it just seems to me that this may have another evolution because, you know, usually, I mean, I don't know. I mean, unless this thing has like really bad stats, it, it should be having higher stats because it's like, I think he's actually higher level than Billy, right? He's level 29, is that right? So, oh, let's check the, uh, the, the information. Information in the DS. And, uh, it says the special membrane covering its eyes can sense the heat of objects so it can see its surroundings even in darkness. Three feet tall, desert croc Pokemon. Okay, so yeah. Cool, cool, uh, cool dude. I'm glad it's not actually a rock type though. Um, just because I don't, I need it to not be a rock type. <laughs> I need it to be a ground type. So, uh, we're gonna get back on the on the car. I want to get out of here. Get, get me out of here, because I need to go heal. Looks like some sort of a teleporting panel. Let's remove the... Whoa, okay. Apparently you have to, uh, push down if you want to disembark. Okay, move on. We do want to disembark there. Okay, cool. Get me out where there's some light so I can position the DS. Yeah, okay. So yeah, proper rocks. So we got our, uh, Another evolved guy. That's good to. That's good. Right when we needed him to to evolve. So hopefully this will make the gym a lot easier. He's level level 29, Crocorock. And yeah, I'll be interested to see if he evolves any further. If he does, it probably won't be for a while. Uh, certainly not before this gym, and probably not before the next gym either. Assuming, of course, he uh, you know stays alive that long, which of course we hope he does. But we're gonna go ahead and clean out some of the other gym trainers. Where are we at on time? Yeah, we're up. Well, we're up to uh, about two hours on uh, video time right now. But obviously, it's only gonna be 
posted to an hour and 30 minute video for you guys, so. Yeah, I've been wanting to make some longer parts because a couple of the parts that I just recently made public as of the time of this filming were kind of under an hour and I wanted to keep, I want to keep the average part time at an hour or above, so. Because I don't want this playthrough to have too many parts, actually. Um, so there was a there was a teleport panel, I think. It looked like a teleport panel, and uh, that really made me that looked like a Mickey Mouse type thing right there. Um, I'm moving through this stuff, it doesn't appear to be a place we can disembark from right there. So I'm gonna wait for the thing to come over here, and we will get on on the blue track. And we're gonna get off right here. And we're gonna see what this uh, this panel does. See if it changes. Okay, press the switch. The roller coaster's path has changed. Okay, so it's not a teleport panel. It is a it is a switch change panel. Yeah, to alter the path. Okay, we're gonna disembark here. Interesting gym. Nice concept for the gym, considering uh, it fits with this town's theme really well of being kind of a giant amusement park type thing. Okay, yeah. So Justin has soft sand now. Now that he evolved. He has the soft sand to make his dig even stronger. Welcome, Challenger. Okay. Rich Boy! Rich Boy Cody has a Blitzel. And uh, I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of stalling on this thing. Check this out, Intimidate. I'd be intimidated too. Attack fell. Um, see, we're gonna use Torment on it to open. I wanna see if this thing has Flame Charge. Cause I know we saw that move uh, previously. We saw a move called Flame Charge. I don't know if it was a TM move or it's something that this thing's gonna have. If it's a Fire move, obviously I need to be really careful with using Blair. No. Yeah, flame charge, flame charge, fire move. And let's see how strong the move is. Holy crap, critical hit! But uh, and uh, it increased something, increased speed. Oh, okay. Uh, nice. So uh, you attack and you increase your speed with this. So Blitzel learns fire move. I guess that makes sense because it's uh, it's kind of like flare blitz except not really. Um, flame charge, interesting move. It's uh, I assume it's fairly weak. But, uh, increases your speed stat, looks like, or at least has a chance to. So, an interesting move. Now, we're gonna see some alt- Whoa, not crunch, not crunch, I not wanna do crunch. Looks like I kinda did. Or did I? Okay, no, I didn't wanna do crunch. Uh, or, yeah, I did, okay. Well, anyway, anyway, this thing's dead. It's dead because of, uh, of stuff. Critical hit. This boy, Cody, roll, roll, roller coaster. Okay, so now we know that we do not need to use Blair against Blitzels because they have a move called Flame Charge. Okay, so that's very good to know. Um, that kind of makes me want to go get the... Holy crap! Are you cool riding a roller coaster? When you ride a roller coaster, the speed makes you dizzy. Okay, yeah, Justin's not quite at full life, but I think that's okay. Depending on who we're up against. And he has a Blitzel as well. And uh, we're gonna do... Yeah, we have enough life to even live a, uh, a critical hit thing. Uh, I'm guessing Flame Charge is a physical move. But uh, we're gonna use a Torment because that way we can kind of plan our dig on a, on a proper turn. Pursuit. Yeah, so uh, we should be faster this time, right? And uh, it's probably going to go for Flame Charge, so we're going to go for Dig. We're going to Dig, and it uses Flame Charge, and now it can't use Flame Charge in the next turn. Right now, it can't use Flame Charge right now because well, it dies, but you know, it can't use Flame Charge right then because it will be tormented, so that was sort of the strategy with that. Although, if we're just going to win it, KO these things, let's just win it, KO these things, and be done with it, so whatever. I don't know why it's going for Pursuit first, that's kind of weird, considering I resist it and it's, you know, stupid. But anyway, one shot a couple of Blitzels, and uh, yeah, Justin ripping through. Lots of money, lots of money being gained from this gym. 
Very nice. Very nice. Okay, um... Justin has... Some injuries, but, uh... So let's, uh... Heal him up. Cover, oh, cover fossil. Here's the cover fossil. Also of an ancient Pokemon that lived in the sea of ancient times. Here's the part of its back. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, we, we may actually do that next part. Before we, uh, fight Elisa, actually. We may do that, just in case. Because uh, a rock type would be nice to have. Obviously, to take the flame charges and resist them. But, uh, I don't know. I think overall, I'm going to be pretty content to, uh, use Justin in this gym. To avoid the stab electric moves. And force him to do other things. Uh, so I think we caught a glimpse of Alyssa right there. Oh, holy crap! Okay, we're gonna disembark right here. And we're gonna activate this. See if there's a coaster up here. Another coaster. Trainer already riding it. And then Boston Gym Challenge is finally in its finale. Okay. So this looks like, like it looks like it's gonna be the last gym trainer. Hopefully she doesn't have more of that flying squirrel. And the Lady Colette! Oh that's perfect! Uh Tales of Symphonia. Uh no, probably not not meant to know this. Tales of Symphonia is my favorite RPG ever. Yes, it's over over uh over Final Fantasy VI and over Final Fantasy Tactics and over all Final Fantasies. Tales of Symphonia, and uh, Skies of Arcadia is number two, if you're curious. And uh, after that, I'm not really sure. But anyway, we're going to go for a Torment here. And check out the shadow on the bottom, or on the top screen, still. Um, you can see him opening his mouth in the shadow. It's uh, really neat. Nice little touches in this game. Okay, we know that ground moves are not going to work. Therefore, because this thing is either flying type... No, it's flying type, because it... Uh, has static, so it doesn't have levitate. So we're just gonna have to spam crunches. Looks like it's only offense against this is gonna be pursuit, so we're just gonna spam crunch. And it's gonna be a two hit KO. Looks like it possibly would be a one hit KO if we had the black glasses, but I didn't know he was gonna come out, so. You know, whatever. Anyway, let me take that out without too much problem. Get some attack and speed gain. Really wish we get some defense gain though. Four thousand, four thousand money. Okay, let's go in here. Because you need to be the opponent of a strong and honorable trainer like you. And uh, yeah, where's their hats and their overworlds, right? Okay, so we do a loop de loop, and here we are. Here is Alyssa. Okay, but we will not fight her just yet because we want to train up some of our guys. We already had Justin to evolve. Let's see if this is an express lane back at the start. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So yeah, we want to train up some of our guys. We want to get Blair to level 31 or 32. Try to get her to evolve. Um, but hopefully we should just be able to take out this whole gym with Justin. That's what I'm hoping. Um, Blair was sort of our contingency plan in case we didn't catch a sand dial. But it looks like you're essentially handed a sand dial in the Relic Castle. Unless you happen to get the uh, Yamask. Yami no Mask? Something like that? I guess. And uh, again, if something does screw up and go wrong, we do have our two guys in the PC. Hanging out in the PC. Which are Kathy and Justine, who will have to, we would definitely obviously have to use Justine if for some reason we got beaten by Elissa. Let's check out the, uh, see what the professor says about our Pokedex right now. 48 Pokemon in the Unova region. Any, uh, any tips? Some Pokemon all found in certain caves. Yeah, well, we could certainly do that, but, uh... Oh, I have something I want to give you. Please come to the lab when you can. Okay, so it looks like we can get a bonus item. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna be backtracking at some point. Uh, well, I guess while we're on the way to Nacreen City we can do that. So, I don't know. We may do that next part because I kind of want this rock type thing. And, um, yeah, I'd like to get this rock type, but, uh, outside that, eh, outside that, um, we're probably going to be doing that in an upcoming thing. But we know what we're going to do. Let's see, did we get healed? I think we got healed. We got healed, right? Um, yes, we did. Yeah, so next part, 
Thanks for let's go ahead and get there, I guess. Eh. Stop having the voice cracks. Oh my gosh. I'm also hungry. I haven't eaten today. Um, we want to use the bicycle. Best bike music ever, in my opinion. Also, a really, really fast bicycle without being a mock bike. It's just like it's it's just fast at, at its normal clip. It doesn't accelerate. It's just fast. So it gets. I, I love how it gets mega slow down in the sand, though, which is you know perfectly accurate. But uh, it's pretty pretty funny. Yeah, that's just funny. But yeah, very fast bike. So uh, I'm assuming that the Sky Arrow Bridge is kind of the V place to do your egg hatching and stuff in this game. So I'm looking forward to some of that. I know I'm going to be doing a lot of that. And uh, one thing I really hope is in this game is a Pokemon with Fly and Magma Armor. And I want that because of... Um, because of uh, egg hatching reasons. That way I can just have one guy to fly and hatch eggs for me at the same time, so that would be really nice. We're gonna go in this entrance, actually. I know, we're actually gonna stay outside this entrance, just for, uh, for reasons. So we're gonna, we're gonna get off the bike. Okay, and yeah, next part, we're gonna be grinding up. At the start, we're going to be training up Blair, who's level 29. Let's go ahead and show people. Blair or Servine is going to go to level 20, not from level 29 to 30, either 31 or 32. Um, she's either going to get to 32 or evolve at 31 or something like that. So that's what we're going to try. Because usually the grass types evolve early, um, with some exceptions. But anyway, right, let's remove set Mega Drain Leech Seed. Pretty nice. Oh, oh, I just noticed that this uh, kind of shows you the. Uh, the, um, where on the screen it shows up. Like, this is top left, this is top right, and so forth. That's, uh, that's a nice addition. And uh, Justin is who we'll be using with his crunch against any of those Yamask things. And uh, everyone else is just kind of in the party for the sake of being in the party. So, that's what we'll do next part, and then we will take on Alessa, and hopefully Justin will sweep through that without a problem. So uh, another fairly long video, um, over an hour and thirty, I think maybe. Uh, here's our here's our party, Desert Resort. Yeah, we're gonna be training that stuff up and going into the fight with Elisa in the next part, and maybe getting some new guys. So I'll see you guys then for part fourteen. Thanks for watching. Later days.